Hey, Jake. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? We are setting up the lathe so that we can chuck Robert's pistons in here and machine that nasty lip out of the Duramax piston. So a lot of guys debate about pulling the lip out of them and milling them and everything else. We're just going to be ignorant and cut the lip out of it and mill it down a little bit. And, well, this one's a trash piston, so we're going to see how that goes. It's all about hot rod theory, man. None of this test is actual. it for yourself. None of this is actual science or, like, facts. This is all theory, so we're here to break stuff. And inevitably, we'll break something, and it'll be like, oh, that didn't work. But now we know for sure. Yeah, now it's we know for sure. It's not just an internet message board. So... So we've got some tape on the piston. The piston is now in the lathe, and well, we'll that comes see. the fun part of getting it so that this is perfectly centered in this big four jaw chuck, hmm. which is going to be a pain in the butt. We'll put a dial indicator on it and spin the machine up, and as long as we're less than a thou of run out, then we ought to be centered enough. And then we can just start cutting it as we please. And then we'll do all the machining with it still in the chuck because as soon as you pull it out, you change where the center where is. Where everything is. And so what are we doing now, bud? We are trying our damnedest to get this sucker uh, lined up. So kind of square because we had an issue where we were way out around. Things are things that look proper once you put an actual measuring device on them usually aren't. So. Plus, it doesn't help that in order to help try to save some of the piston wall, we're putting tape around it, and that tape Yeah, because otherwise you're going to really mar up that skirt. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So now we're setting basically a base on the chuck. Yeah. And once we get the base set, then we can put the piston in it, and then we can yeah, the idea being mess it up again. All four of these jaws stick out the same amount and you tighten them the same degrees to get the piston in there. It'll be closer to center than starting all out Wonky. of line. So, Which we'll is give it a shot. Basically what we were doing. Yeah. So, we're going to try this method. All right. We don't know what we're doing. We have no idea what we're doing. But that right there is Plus or minus five thou. A little less than that. Ideally, you'd want it to be plus or minus a thou. But there is quite a bit of carbon on these pistons. Yeah, these pistons. Which are... we can take a bit of uh, cheese or uh, Scotch Brite. See if we can clean up a little bit of that carbon. See if we can get it closer. I shall return. I don't know, those pistons are already pretty scuffed. They're they're a sacrifice to the science behind learning. Wait, so where are we at with this thing? All right, so that right there is within a thousandth of swing. So that's as centered as we're gonna get it with these tools, which honestly, for who it's for, is good enough. That's way too good. <laughs> so now we've got it set in the four jaw. So now we're gonna have to set up our cutting tool and make sure our cutting tool is in the center of our work before we do anything else. So. Set all this down. Get all that stuff out of our way. It came off the because it's stationary and this moves that way, so it oh, came off the edge. Oh, okay. So now we go back out.
All right, so what are we now doing? It's been like three hours. So no more test runs. This is the first cutting of a using our piston we're going to be using. This piston will end up in the motor. Yes, one way or another. Yeah. Even if I put a massive gouge in it and Robert's not happy, it'll end up in the motor. So we're gonna shave 50 thou off the top of it. Take, what is it, what do we decide? 180 thou out of the lip. Yeah, 180 thou out of the lip, 50 thou off the top. And then, and then we do we'll, a 50 thou chamfer. Yep, 50 thou chamfer on the edge. Clean it up with some scotch bright and a little bit of super fine sandpaper and she'll be good to go in the motor. We'll see if it makes power or if it just blows up on the stand. Predictions is it blows up on the stand because That's everybody- That's the most likely option. Everybody says LV7 pistons are better, but I think LV7 pistons are only better because they don't have the rod to support higher horsepower. We gonna find out. We're gonna give it every chance we can. It's gonna drop the compression a lot, which we have to for your alternate fire cam but we're gonna see how far LB7 pistons can be taken. So we got our 50 thou cut off the top of that piston there. She's looking mighty fine. Uh, and uh, now what are we doing? Now we're gonna take the boring bar. It's over here. We're gonna take the boring bar. And we're gonna cut 180 thousandths off of this lip. Lip in there. Which doesn't make it perfect with the wall on the inside of the bowl but it's just right there so we've still got a tiny bit of radius before it goes straight wall but we are taking a significant amount out of the loop yeah we're getting rid of the, the lip like 99.9 percent .9%. how much 99.9999 percent all right i'll let you get to cut that out that you're feeling is the stickiness the, no i know it's the there's still some material left on there yeah but we have taken one of these boring lame junk pistons stock and turned it into the jake mcnasty the race piston designed by built c max <laughs> <laughs> unless it unless it lives and makes a bunch of power then it was designed by me yeah <gasps> lip got cut out of it you can that doesn't help. Eh, we're still struggling to focus, but we shaved some off the top, shaved off some off the middle. We're gonna send it now. Cool. All right, Jake, that's the last Jake McNasty piston we're making today. Last one for the day. How do you feel about them? I think they're gonna do great. You think they're gonna do great? I think they're gonna do great. I don't see any way it could go wrong. They're, uh, what Once do we do put, to them? So, the secret, but. You know, we're you diesel guys, people, but you know, we're also gas people, so we'll let our secrets know, out. So. 50 thousandths off the top of the piston for the alternate fire cam because you know pockets would be way too easy and then delip it 180 thousandths delip it's perfect once robert polishes them up they're going to look pretty and they're going to perform great oh you're forgetting the critical step we took oh. uh 50 thou uh oh, hold on hold on that's that's proprietary now that's proprietary that's the chamfers of our own design. Yeah. Just, that, that's the one piece you can't have. The can't chamfers computer designed. Barely see a chamfer in there, but that it's chamfer, a that chamfer hopefully is what keeps the, the edge of that piston together. It doesn't look like it, but believe me, it's there. So 50 thousandths coming at a 45. Coming at a 45, back it up 50 thou. That's where we're at. You know, because we're, we're not going to just sit here and keep our trade secrets to ourselves. We want to see other fast diesels. <laughs> don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> don't, don't do this at home. <laughs> Granted, then again, if you have a lathe. Yeah, honestly, if you have one of these sitting at the house, you're probably qualified. Yeah, yeah. So if you have the stuff to make this happen, go for it. Give if it a you, shot. Tell us how they perform. If you don't have the ability to cut your own pistons, don't try this at home. And if you have one of these and an engine dyno, for the love of God, let us know how they perform. 
Yeah, we'd be really curious to see what happens if you take 160 thou out of the lip or all kinds of other different things. But let's get that bad boy off. 